Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart. In this video, a match that features an outstanding player who just takes over the game. If your partner did this, is it something you would be comfortable with or would you be upset because you were being left out of the action? Check out the video and decide for yourself. Let's first look at the teams. You have this team right here. They look to be in their 30s against the team that is a little younger, I believe, in their 20s. This is, I think, Jose and Jennifer, another Jennifer and Chris. So let me go ahead and press the start button and I'll get started. They're talking strategy. I don't know if they have played before. I'm assuming they have. Nice deep serve, nice deep return. Okay, he tried a third shot drive. She was able to get it. It hit the top of the tape and bounced over the net, and he was just not able to get that ball that hit the top of the tape. This time he hits a lob that worked very well, a third shot lob instead of a third shot drop or drive. I'm not really into lobs. I play outdoors a lot and the wind can really affect it at times and I normally hit it out. Got into a far fight there and he was not able to get that backhand back. I'm noticing something here that I'm going to point out if it continues to happen. And it did. Overall, nice play. Got into a little bit of a dinking contest. The ball was hit just a little bit high, and the guy in blue took advantage of it. All right, and it does happen again. All right, he hit another third shot drive, and uh, she just was not able to handle that, that ball. It just barely went out. Trying it. He did it again. This guy right here in the blue is a very, very good player. He so far has hit two fantastic lobs. He's also hit some third shot drives. And he's doing something else that I'm going to point out. I want to make sure that I'm seeing what I'm seeing. So hang on. Let's see what happens. He tried a backhand lob that time and it just did not work. So on lobs, he is two out of three. Okay, so let's take a look here. She is hitting the serve very deep and this woman hit the return very deep as well. They're, they're, these are excellent players. These are at least 4.0 players. The guy in the blue may be 4.5, I'm not really sure. But uh, he's taking a lot of shots. This woman has not really hit too many uh, shots so far as he's taking the majority of them. That was just a fantastic angled shot. Again, this guy right here is very, very good. And I think that ball was hit out. If you notice this guy right here, on one of the returns, he actually switched hands. I do play against some players who switch hands. I don't do it. Some players do, and they do it effectively. He did it again. And that ball was out. This team right here, of course, is stacking. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video right here and point out something that he is doing. This team is trying to hit the ball to this woman, but this guy right here is moving over and he's taking almost every third shot. He has done it every time. When you get into a situation like that, it all depends on who you are playing with. This woman seems to be okay with it. I can tell you that the mixed doubles partner that I play with, if I were to do this, she would call me a ball hog and she would be very, very upset about it. So you have to make sure that the partner you are playing with has the same goal in mind that you do. That is, if, you're, if one partner is in it to win it, the other partner must 
be in it to win it as well. They must be on the same page. If one per partner is in it to win it and the other one is there just for socialization and to have a good time and have fun, they're probably going to get mad. Now, in a rec game, I don't know if you should do this or not. Maybe the players should hit equally and have both so they can both enjoy the game and have a lot of fun. Obviously, this team is in it to win it as this guy is taking the majority of the shots that are all over the court. He is just a fantastic player and he definitely wants to win. Maybe they have some type of rivalry going on here. I just don't know. This is my first time seeing this video, but that is what I am seeing is this guy is moving over and taking almost every third shot that is in her uh, court. He probably will all that he probably will do that as well when he is at the non-volley zone. We'll just have to wait and see. So when you're playing, decide how you want to play kind of before you get started so your partner does not get mad at you. He tried another third shot drive and just could not get it over the net. Oh, he did. See where he is right here? He is totally in her court. He is taking the forehand. He is not allowing her to use her backhand. And she just moves out of the way. And uh, he's able to get the ball back. Oh, she took it that time. And that ball was hit out. Here he is again, taking the forehand. The guy's shirt has the word tennis on it, and you can kind of tell, look at his forehand, how his hand is back. He's waiting for the whip on the ball. This ball is going to be nailed. There it is. And that was pretty much a shake and bake right there. She didn't do the bake. He did the bake. He did the shake by hitting a third shot drive, drove up to the net, hit the fifth shot very hard. It did hit her paddle. It went out, and they won that point. And they're going to change sides right now. Normally, is that is done when the score gets to six. So I'm assuming the score right now is six to nothing. The same thing continues to happen over and over again. This side serves. They try to return it to her. He steps in, hits a third shot drive. That's just popped up way too high. So that was the shake. Here comes the bake. This ball is going to be slammed somewhere in midcourt, and this team is going to win the point. Again, look where he is. He's totally taking the shot away from her. Right now, let's take a short time out. First of all, my name is Rory. When I first started playing pickleball, I studied, I took lessons, and I watched hours and hours of videos on YouTube of pickleball matches. I watched what the players were doing right, I watched what they were doing wrong, and I learned from doing so. And I hope you're learning something from watching this video as well. If you are, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. So let's start back up again. So at this point, I can pretty much tell you he is 4-0, maybe even 4-5. I have no idea what level player she is as she's not getting to hit many balls at all. I would think that this team right here, this girl is really good. This guy is uh, about the same level as she is. So I'm going to say 3-5, maybe 4-0, probably 4-0. But again, this guy is the best player on the court. He is just taking uh, every shot. Again, you can call him a ball hog if you want to, but he is playing to win. An excellent backhand by the guy in blue. I mean, I just can't say enough about how good that guy is. So the team that is losing right now, they're trying their best to hit it to the female player. The male player is just not allowing that to happen. Okay, he tried a third shot drop right there instead of a third shot drive. It did not work out for him as she was able to put it away in this corner.
And I think they finally made a point as she was not able to get it back. They actually hit it to her and he did not step in and take the shot. Oh, hit it right to the net. He's a little bit disappointed about that. He hit that return out. Sometimes that does happen. I truly believe a deep return is the best way to go. Occasionally, you will hit it out, but I think the advantages of hitting a deep return really outweigh the disadvantages of doing it. That was a really nice point of uh, the woman with the black shirt on right here in the white cap. She is an excellent player, at least 4.0. If you go back and look at that point, I don't think the female player on this team hit the ball one time. He took every shot and ended up winning the point. That time it didn't work out for him because he kind of got in her way. She was going to take that shot, but then at the last second, she thought he was going to, so she made a very feeble attempt to hit it, and now they're kind of laughing about it. It's going to happen from time to time when you have a player who is in the other uh, player's uh, part of the court and taking every shot. They're going to run into each other every once in a while. Fantastic shot. If you saw what happened, the guy in the blue was way over here taking every shot. And when the female player took the shot, she just hit it too high. That was probably the uh, best point of the match. The female player here did end up hitting it out. Again, a shot that was hit too high in the air. It gave this player the opportunity to win the point. Goodbye. Once again, hit too high in the air. Both of these players at the non-volley zone, they are playing an excellent game. Another ball hit out. Again, like I was mentioning, if this player in blue did not step in and take every shot, I think, or almost every shot. I think this team would have had a chance. He is, however, taking every shot he can, and it's just not working out for this team here. A third shot drive that was hit out. That is the end of the game. I'm not sure what the score was, but I'm thinking it was probably something like 11 to 3 maybe maybe this team right here scored three points i'm not positive that they did but i played this video for you because i wanted you to take notice that the player in blue took probably 80 percent of the shots he was in his partner's court time and time again and if you're playing with a partner that you're not that familiar with talk to them and ask them how they want to play before the game starts and let them know that you are going to be going into their court and taking some shots 
Because if you don't, there's a good possibility your partner is going to call you a ball hog. They're going to get upset that they're not able to hit the ball and that you're taking every shot. So you want to make it a nice, friendly game. This game was a very competitive game. They were trying as hard as they possibly could. I know it is a recreational game. I totally understand the better player taking most of the shots in a tournament that happens in the professional ranks all the time where with a mixed doubles match you will see the male player take a lot of the shots especially at the non-volley zone this player in blue did it his partner did not seem to have a problem with it but some players do so again figure it out so someone is not offended or upset and ends up calling you a ball hog I'm really interested to know how you feel about it, so if you take the time and leave a comment below and let me know, I would appreciate it. And I hope you learned something from watching this video. If you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. So that's it for this edition of Pickleball Pick Apart, where picking apart a pickleball pairing off provides perfect proficiency for principled pickleball play. That's all I've got for you. Thanks for watching. See you on the courts.